प्रभु तव मूर्ति विनोदकारी पलपन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्न जेह नजर समीप रहो अमारी एह नजर समीप रहो अमारी एह घनश्याम महाराज नी जय हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय सुप्रीम ऑलमाइटी our beloved Ganesha Maharaj. The path maker to our liberation, our utmost dear Puja Guruji, Puja Santo and all of you loyal and parivar bhakto, Jai Swami Narayan. Last year, last week, it was uh, course seven. And this week we're going to just do a presentation uh, regarding something that everyone has to be aware of, no matter if one is young or old, no matter if one is a male or a female, no matter if one has been in satsang for one year or if one has been in satsang for 50 years, no matter if one has a lot of understanding compared to a person who doesn't have any understanding, there is no limits to this very element that we have to be af very afraid of in our life uh, as satsangis, as devotees of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. So, without further ado, let's get into our presentation for today. The presentation is, Be Aware of Kusang. Kusang is something that is everywhere. Just like how there is, you can say, water in the ocean. It's said that 70% of the earth is covered uh, with water. And 30% is land. That 70% we can say is kusang, and the good is only 30%. Now, just for an example, our temple here is located in Raritan, New Jersey, uh, in the United States, and uh, it's approximately a 170-year-old building, uh, one of the oldest uh, buildings in this uh, city of Raritan. Now, if looking in that perspective, uh, this whole mandir uh, has been renovated. It was a church before, and now it's uh, it's completely uh, different. If you see here, and um, from that perspective, from the outside, if we look and go just two blocks down, even just one block down, we'd be able to see that there is alcohol being drunk at restaurants, smoking, eating meat unpious activities and just by walking a block and coming inside of this temple a completely new different environment is developed and vibes of piousness vibes of wanting to do more bhakti and bhajan that is infused inside so saying so that kusang is just one block away or even just a couple feet away if we leave them on their premises but we would like to look at it in an all-around perspective, in the world, inside, everywhere. What is Kusang? How to prevent from getting it or getting in contact with it? And um, identifying what kinds of Kusangs there are. So without further ado, let's get into the presentation. What is Kusang? It means bad company. What does Kusang mean? One who associates with bad company. Bad company meaning it can be anything. Bad company uh, is not formally just bad people. It can also mean uh, bad company in the form of uh, associating uh, with, uh, you can say, uh, you know, bad people, not only but drugs, alcohol, that is all considered a part of bad company. If we want to look at it, all the negativity, put it in short. Now, with that said, uh, types of kusang we have to div uh, identify first in order for us to kind of stay away or, uh, you know, um, not get in touch with. So, in the Shikshapatri slok or verse number 27, Bhagwan Swami Narayan states that there are six types of kusangis. No one shall ever associate with a thief, 
sinful person, an addict, a corrupted, and a deceit. Now, Bhagwan Swami Narayan puts it very clear and cut. Now, a thief, obviously everyone knows, a person who steals, a sinful person. What is that? Uh, what kind of person is that? A sinful person is one who performs sins on a regular basis. Uh, one is who is addicted to uh, performing some kind of sins, who has a habit of performing sins, such as drinking alcohol is a sin, eating meat is a sin, lying is a sin, uh, so on and so forth. Um, an addict, addict meaning a person who is addicted to alcohol, a person who is addicted to uh, uh, drugs, a person who is addicted to some kind of uh, substances that Bhagwan Swami Narayan um, does not want one's devotee to be uh, addicted to. A corrupted, a corrupted meaning uh, this more is uh, along the lines of financial and political, uh, you can say, uh, standards where corruption in the form of politics, corruption in the form of, um, you can say, money, not paying taxes, things like that. One should not uh, associate with such a person. And a deceit. Deceiting meaning um, a person who hides and is, who is dishonest. Definitely, uh, if one stays away from these six types of people, then one will live a very, very healthy satsang life. Now, even in depth, Bhagwan Swami Narayan uh, identified these six types of kusangis in the Shiksha Patri more on the basis which is day-to-day uh, uh, -day social life that one can relate to. But there are four types of kusangis in the Vachnamrut that Bhagwan Swami Narayan states in Gandhara, 1st chapter 48. Um, naming them, they are Kura Panthi, Shakti Panthi, Shushka Vedanti, and Nastik. Uh, pretty much those who uh, do not believe in God, uh, those who take you away from your own dharma, those who break you from doing bhakti, those who want you to understand that Bhagwan does not have a form. That, that's all the characteristics of these four. Uh, so Bhagwan wants us to stay away from such kind of kusang. Moving on. Kusang in school and college. Now this is actually where our practical session starts. First we identified uh, what kusang is. Second, we kind of acknowledged the types of kusang according to the Shikshapatri and Vachnamrut. But now we'd like to analyze um, kusang in school and college. Something that uh, all of you Loidam Parivar Bhakto uh, go to or even let's add job uh, to this category. And um, bad friends. This is one of the worst things uh, to have. Now, you know, Santos preach about this, Puja Guruji preaches about this, so it's kind of like, ah, what's the big deal about listening to this? But in reality, by remembering even a few words, uh, if one were to associate with a bad person knowingly or unknowingly, if one remembers such kind of words, then one would be like, oh, Maharaj will not become pleased, Guruji will not become pleased, so I want to stay away from Kusang. Just that one fraction of a second or even the five seconds of thinking and accepting in your mind to stay away from kusang will save your satsang life the whole entire lifespan. That's how vital because kusang only takes five seconds or ten seconds to enter into our soul and attack and completely destroy our satsang. It doesn't take that long. But if we have a strong firewall, just like how big companies, um, <clears throat> big companies in the world, uh, they have big networking uh, systems and computers, but they even put more cost, you know, servers cost much money, networks, uh, even the technicians that you hire cost much money, uh, buildings, upkeeping, all that. But more than that, companies invest in a very very strong firewall due to that there's no one that can hack their system hack their networking program and take over and pretty much do what they want in the same way we have a very very big network here in satsang suppose we've been going uh to satsang uh, attending doing satsang uh, with santos pujaguruji haribhaktos for 20 years but if one person comes in and speaks some ill words and we tend to accept it 
knowing or not knowing that this is right or wrong, then our whole 20 years flushes down the toilet. Let's put it that way. That's why a firewall in the form of understanding, a firewall in the form of firm faith in Bhagwan and Puja Guruji, a firewall in the uh, in the form of awareness is very, very necessary on the path of liberation. So bad friends. Number two, those who do mori, morivat, meaning speaking uh, discouragingly, speaking very, very poor that you've been going to satsang for many years, but you've had, you haven't even had the darshan of Bhagwan. Don't worry about it. You know, let's, let's do something else. Speaking such kind of negative words, Bhagwan Swaminarayan states in the Gadara, first chapter, 17th Vachnamrut, that he does not like this. And those who do speak, he would like to remove such kind of kusang from this satsang. Nonetheless, drugs, addictions, bad clubs, bars, alcohol, this is a standard in this country. This country lives off of these kinds of standards. People thrive from these kinds of standards and staying away, staying very, very strong to your principles, that's a characteristic of Aloyadam Parivar Bhakta. Nonetheless, anything that brings us away from the Satpurush to talk bad about Santo Avgun Levano. So this more comes along our lines. You know, um, there's three types of kusang that Sadguru Gunatitan and Swami uh, describes to us in his uh, in his vato. Number one is <clears throat> external kusang. External kusang meaning those who are thieves, sinners, those who drink alcohol, those who eat meat and try to force others to do so. That's number one. The second one is internal kusang. Internal kusang meaning lust, anger, greed, ego, hypocrisy, jealousy all those vices that are inside of us. And finally, the third type of kusang that Swami mentions, which is kind of very, very, uh, it's kind of like a spy, is kind of, it's called satsang no kusang. Meaning there is people who are in satsang, who do tilak chanla, who wear the kanti, who wear jabolego, who do bhakti and dhanwarts, and also do many singkirtans and do many, many things. Yet, we even think of them as one of the best Hari Bhaktas, they do the most seva. Yet, there is some kind of venom or poison inside of their mentality. And they have a tendency to go around and speak discouragingly. That, that is mentioned here, according to the Vachnamrut Gadara, first chapter 17. And due to that, they break people from satsang slowly but surely. It's kind of like very, very slow poison. Let's put it that way. It works in the way where uh, first, they become your friend. Second, uh, after they become your friend, they tend to uh, you know, uh, share each other's likings so that they can relate on one, one uh, stage. And then after that, slowly but surely, they start to put hidden messages uh, which kind of one starts to believe and grasp because one starts to have an attraction towards that person as a friend. And then slowly but surely, before you know it, um, one month, two months, a couple months goes by and that person is completely detached from the Akantik Satpuru Santo and Bhakto. So be aware, kids, be aware, teenagers, kishores, yuvaks, be aware of Satsang no kusang, inter internal kusang, and external kusang. Moving on. Jaguruji, but all he's saying is be a very, very afraid of college because that is the most, uh, you can say, that is the most uh, dangerous aspect to uh, becoming far from uh, kusang or bar far from satsang. And practically looking at it, uh, experiencing it on a personal basis. Uh, I've, I've uh, grown up with many, many uh, of these uh, bhaktos and there are bhaktos that go into college and unfortunately their satsang actually decreases. And they actually, it's not like they want to uh, go away from Maharaj, Guruji, Santo and Bhakto, but due to the influence of college, due to uh, that 
force of uh, you know enjoying and uh, experiencing the environment, the college environment, automatically that person's inclination changes, and you don't even see them coming to Mandir anymore. You don't even see them contacting or calling Santos or even picking up Santos phones. So this is definitely something to be afraid of. Puja Guruji's speech was very short, yet the great Satguru speaks just a little, but his words are so effective that they penetrate our soul directly. And even by remembering such kind of words when we are in such an adverse circumstance, um, we'll be able to become saved uh, and actually stay on the path of God and worship Bhagwan Swami Narayan. So now we would like to take a look at the power of satsang, or power of kusang, I'm sorry. How strong is kusang? Well, five liters of milk compared to five drops of yogurt. You know, uh, in India, uh, when, they mil uh, when they want to make yogurt, they would first warm up milk, uh, let's say five, uh, five liters. And all they have to do is after it's warmed up, just add five drops of yogurt and keep it in a, w a warm place. And in the morning, it would be solid yogurt. That's how strong yogurt is compared to milk. Second example, 99 good mangoes versus one spoiled mango. If you have a basket of 99 mangoes and there's just one spoiled mango all the way at the bottom, it's going to slowly but surely spoil all the other mangoes. Satsang means creation and kusang means destruction. Creating a building takes many years, but destroying one takes many minutes. Takes minutes. Um, I was researching a little bit, and you can say an instant example that came into my mind was the Twin Towers. I researched and found out that it takes uh, it took 11 years to construct both of those buildings, and it just took 10 seconds for them to fall. That's even one year less. So if you count one second for one year, that's how much effort was made one year for one second that's how much effort was made to construct uh these two uh, grand towers and uh, after the incident 10 seconds for them to collapse that's the power of kusang kusang as i told you before only a few words maybe five or ten seconds of contact with such a person if one's firewall is not strong if one has a weak understanding then that poison is likely to penetrate inside of one's bloodstream and kill oneself meaning kill one satsang take one afar uh, take one afar from maharaj guruji santo and bhakto so be aware bhaktos this is not something that uh, should be taken lightly moving on stop and think satsang versus kusang Here's the prevention plan now. Here's where our firewall starts. Now, you know, what happens is that we have been maybe going to satsang for 5, 10, 15 years, and um, there's many, many experiences that we have uh, uh, gone through with Maharaj, Guruji, Santo, and Bhakto. Positive experiences, experiences that have touched your heart very much. Now, what happens is that when that kusang comes, the kusang is trying to break us away from Maharaj Guruji, Santo, and Bhakto. So they will say things, they will try to take our side and then slowly but surely break our point of view. But you have to stop and think. Stop and think of all the incidences and experiences that we have had with Maharaj Guruji, Santo, and Bhakto. Think about how they have given us peace of heart. Think about how they have changed our life from bad to good. Think about how they have converted our bad habits into good habits. Think about all the experiences. And from that thought process, that poison that's trying to come in will be deflected because that thought process is so strong and so, uh, so uh, firm that that kusang is not 
able to penetrate because one can think that I have experienced satsang Maharaj Guruji Santo Bhakta for 10 years compared to this person saying this there is no way that it is possible that this is like this so it's kind of like an equation one kind of does the math mathematics in one's mind and then makes a decision in the same way stop and think stop and think that's one side another side um, one's friends uh, encouraging and trying to uh, peer pressure one into going to a party and drinking alcohol yes now from that one has to think stop and think that what has Bhagwan Swaminarayan said in the Shiksha Padri those who follow these rules will become happy in this life and the life after now right now it may seem for an hour or two hours if I attend this party it will be fun but then what? but if I follow Bhagwan Swaminarayan's Agna if I do not uh, you know if I do not uh, uh, turn my mind into uh, drinking this uh, alcohol then Bhagwan will become happy and make me happy in this life and life after such kind of equation should be playing inside of our mind that's why you have to stop and think always stop and think before making any decision like that as this boy is doing on the left compared to the right okay moving on friends right versus wrong here's the second prevention plan Humans are social creatures requiring company or association. That is a must and necessary. Even dogs and cats require some kind of friendly attention. Then how can humans not? Humans talk, walk, greet each other. Humans like to interact with one, one another. Humans have a base DNA tendency of associating with the opposite. It's just given it's a very very fixed fixed uh you can say uh, uh equation now saying that uh association has two categories good and bad obviously there's uh you've probably heard of the saying there's two sides to a coin or there's two faces to a coin of course one is head one is tails in the same way good versus bad Good association versus bad association, satsang versus kusang. Okay, uh, moving on, friends, right versus wrong. Satsang is the reason for happiness, while kusang is the reason for unhappiness. If we think that, uh, you know, um, satsang is the very source of happiness, then we'll be very, very content. We would feel very, very peace of heart. We would be able to feel fulfilled that yes satsang is full of peace and happiness versus kusang evil forces change our minds and take us away from maharaj santo and parents not ghosts as you see in that picture but evil forces in the mind in the for in the in the sense of negative thoughts those are evil forces for example kids think uh and, and they say that, you know, SATs are coming up and I, I studied for six months, Swami, and I've taken classes and I'm ready. And, you know, I prayed to Maharaj and um, yeah, I've been praying every day in puja and I know I'm going to do well. And then upon taking the exam, something happens, their mind goes blank, something happens and they don't do as well as they want to on the exam and then they start to think like swami i did puja i prayed to maharaj i did all this bhajan bhakti i did all this seva i did all your seva yet why did i get a bad score that is a type of evil force doubt doubting or having questions arise in one's mind regarding Bhagwan, Guruji, Santo, and Bhakto, that is all evil forces. And that is something definitely to be afraid of. Now, addiction. Good versus bad. There are many. That's okay. Just a little technical dif difficulties. There's many types of addictions, good versus bad. Uh, good addictions, 
bad addictions. Good addictions, what do we mean? Doing seva is a good addiction. According to the Vachnamrat Gadada, middle chapter 25, Bhagwan Swami Narayan actually wants each and every one of his devotees to develop an addiction like Uka Kachal of doing seva for Maharaj and Guru, uh, Maharaj and Santo. That is what Bhagwan Swami Narayan says that if one develops an addiction like Uka Kachal uh, by doing seva, then one's sins will be burned away and one will become nirvastic. That's what he says in that Vachnamrut. So addiction necessarily if one thinks about it one always go to goes towards the negative side but good addictions like seva good addictions like sant samagam good addictions like listening to katha listening to kirtans doing darshan of bhagwan doing the bhakti of bhagwan that is definitely a must for a loyadam parivar hari bhagat nonetheless the other side bad bad addictions as you can see down there um though uh, this person uh, very much uh, chewed tobacco and you can see that he has developed mouth cancer now uh, you can't look at the image too long uh, it's a very very uh, <laughs> detailed image but you can see that by chewing tobacco uh, and usually they put it underneath the lip um, and in that area you can see uh, the cancer is very very strong and has penetrated throughout his mouth and chin and everything uh, that is all bad addictions and kids feel that you know that if I do it one or two times I'm not going to become addicted or nothing's going to happen to me, but in reality In reality by doing it just once will want you to do it twice and by doing it twice It will want you to do it three times and four times and five times and then it will become an addiction without you even knowing so having that type of self-confidence that if I just tried once or twice, I don't think it's going to do any damage. That is our confusion, that is our ignorance, that is our misunderstanding. Good addictions can create good character, while bad addictions can ruin one's life. As this man, he cannot talk. Uh, no one even wants to even look at his face. I'm sure he has trouble eating. I'm sure he has trouble breathing at times. And worst of all, he has cancer. So. You never know when he's going to die and leave this mortal body. So, so many things negative happen just by one person eating tobacco for one or two or three or four or five years. What's the point? Why do it then? Staying away from peer pressure. Definitely something that will support our firewall. Uh, in the basis of uh, being pressured by people who have addictions who also force you to take part in that addiction That is peer pressure Now obviously uh, in school college right now. That's always going to be an influence, but more than that um, You know Influences uh, in the part of maybe not heavy things like drugs alcohol um, eating meat or smoking but Influences in the part of you know uh, doing things that Bhagwan doesn't like. Um, you can say influences in the part of you know when you're supposed to do uh, puja instead of that, uh, you go to your friend's house to stay over and he says that ah, don't do puja, don't worry about it. Let's just play some games. That's also part of peer pressure. Do not only think that alcohol, drugs, and uh, smoking, and so on and so forth are all peer pressure uh, components, but anything that breaks us from our daily routine of doing puja, doing the tilak channel, bowing down to our parents, elders, uh, doing bhakti, uh, taking niyams and chaturmas, and other people telling us that, you know, eh, don't worry about it, let's play a little bit of games, and then if you get time, do it. Why are you doing it right now? Do it later. We become so lazy that we forget that is a type of peer pressure, definitely, that we have to be aware of as satsangis. Kusang is more tempting. Necessity, need, satsang, happiness, luxury, greed, kusang, misery. Now, these are all opposites. Necessity versus luxury. Now, what is ne necessary and what is a luxury? In Sadhguru Gunatitan Swami Vato, Swami actually points this out. 
what is necessary for the body uh, or the soul at, at, that has attained this body is water, food, shelter, salt for taste and oxygen obviously only these components are necessary for a human to live okay uh, compared to luxuries outside of that um, meaning small things like you know school supplies let's look at it that way or tools that you need to actually do school work that is not a luxury I want you I want to define what luxury means suppose you have a phone it's working perfectly fine but it's an older model of the iPhone it's the iPhone 8 and in school your friends are you know walking around with the latest iPhone you becoming tempted by them and then begging your parents for a $1200 phone that is a luxury you don't need it you can do texting you can call you can do everything on your iPhone 8 but due to the social trend you would like you were influenced and you were pulled by that new iPhone and due to that you beg and beg for such a phone or clothes or so on and so forth that is a luxury something that you do not need something that you may have but it's on a lower scale but you are uh, you're tempted to get something even more better uh, because of the social world that is a luxury need versus greed uh, this kind of goes hand in hand uh, you know you need a place to live but that doesn't mean that it has to be two million dollars you need to eat food but that doesn't mean that it has to be meat right you need to eat food but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you have to eat outside fast food which Bhagwan does not want us to do satsang versus kusang obviously this is a very easy one that we're talking about happiness versus misery all we want is happiness but the happiness that we get or we think uh, that there's happiness here 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 comes out to be misery so there is our opposites but kusang is more tempting that is a hundred percent fact because this whole world is made from kusang meaning maya <clears throat> And the only way to become saved from Maya is to take the refuge of Maharaj, his Ekantik Satpurush, Santo Bhakto, this satsang. That is the way to become saved from Maya. Second, uh, our second video for today is of Puja Guruji uh, giving a pravachan in the same Sibir. Uh, that um, Puja Guruji is just talking about, um, you know, staying in touch with Santos and watching Gatha. That is a way to protect ourselves from Kusang. It's a very short clip, um, but we would just like to reflect off of it that uh, Guruji is just saying in short that, uh, you know, staying in contact with Santos is the best and effective way to stay away from Kusang. And uh, <clears throat> there's a story uh, that uh, in Ma Maharaj was in Loya, and uh, there was a Patari Akuo there, a well, and there were some Darbaras that came some herdsmen that also came and uh, they have these uh, sticks which are called dangs which they use to uh, they're made from wood uh, which are used to kind of control their cattle uh, to stay in formation and walk and on the ends of the um, ends of the sticks there are caps it's kind of steel capped um, so it kind of hurts a little more uh, so <clears throat> these darbars came from Maharaj's darshan. Maharaj was there at Patarekuo, and uh, you know Maharaj, uh, Maharaj was giving a live practical example that you know uh, Maharaj says become satsangis, do puja, and these darbars and herdsmen say that Maharaj, we don't know how to do any of this stuff, and how will we be able to do this? How will we be able to you know? surpass this maya or become above this maya then Maharaj said to one of the darbars to throw the stick inside of the well and the darbar did and he threw the stick inside and the stick floated obviously and Maharaj then gave an example Maharaj said that this wood 
is Santos and the cap is you. If I take the cap off and throw it inside the well, then it's going to sink. But since the cap is attached to the stick, the wooden stick, it is able to float even if it is very heavy. In the same way my Santos, my form is a refuge, is this stick and you are this iron cap or this steel cap. No matter how you are, if you attach yourself to Maharaj, Guruji, Santo and Bhakto, then no matter how you are, you will float above this Maya. It's a beautiful example that Maharaj gave and those Darbars understood it right away. So from there, we will be able to understand. Now, how should one avoid Kusang? Seven ways. Do not walk with them. Do not sit with them. Do not drink with them. Do not eat with them. Do not sleep with them. Do not love them and do not marry them. <laughs> These are seven types of uh, ways to kind of avoid such kind of kusang. Um, and it's very, very straightforward and simple. So I don't know about the last two, just mentioned it, but uh, mostly it's staying away uh, in any way away from kusang. Very good. The best way, 99%, the most successful way to escape from kusang is prarthna. Prarthna meaning prayer. prayer. And in the Vachnamrath Gurudha, first chapter 48, Maharaj asks for us to pray for the protection against bad company. Oh Lord, please protect me from kusang. If we pray to Maharaj, if we take uh, refuge towards Maharaj, and we tell Maharaj, please, I want to stay in your satsang. I want to progress more spiritually. So keep me away from Kusang as, as best as possible. Then Bhagwan Swami Narayan will definitely come for our protection. He is divine. He is pragat. He is manifest. He is, he is walking, talking, living. He is everywhere. It's a matter of experiencing. But Bhagwan will listen to our prayer and Bhagwan will protect us. So, be aware of Kusang. Kusang is the worst type of, you can say, element ever. Uh, may it be in satsang or may it be outside. That takes us and breaks us from, away from the path of going to Bhagwan Swaminathan and going to Akshar Dham. For millions and millions, not millions and millions, for, but countless lives, We've been traveling in this cycle of life and death, but yet we still have not received or, or we still have not attained Bhagwan Swami Narayan's divine abode, Akshar Dham, Bhagwan's divine murti. It is all due to this one element, Kusang. So if we have our eye on this Kusang, if we are aware that this Kusang will take me away from Bhagwan, Guruji, Santo and Bhakto, then definitely we'd be able to attain Akshardham in this life. Even if we don't do any kind of spiritual endeavors, Bhagwan will still keep us in it, his satsang. Because this satsang is, is, is like a wishing stone. This satsang is a chintamani. This satsang, uh, whatever you wish for, you get. So if you want to go to Akshardham, you'd be able to do so. But it's kind of like sitting, a, um, sitting in a plane and keeping your belt strapped. But if someone decides to unbuckle uh, one's belt and jump outside by pulling the emergency uh, lever door and jumping outside, then whose fault is it? That's why satsang is very, very important and kusang is even more important to keep an eye on and to stay away from. Um, you know, there's a, saying, uh, there's a saying that keep your friends close and keep your enemies even closer. In the same way, definitely keep satsang close, but even so, be aware of kusang even more so that it does not break us or divert us from satsang, this, this divine satsang of Maharaj, Puja Guruji, Santo, and Bhakto. So this is our lecture on uh, kusang. Uh, if you have any questions, please email us at uh, loyadamenjia at the rate gmail.com. Saying this, my humble Jay Swaminarayan.